Hey, welcome back to Max Nay Horsemanship. Today I'm going to discuss a little topic that uh, oh, I, I, I think I mentioned it once before, but I'm going to go into a little bit more de detail on it and because uh, it's going to save you some trouble. Well, it's going to give you an option uh, later on down the road that you might be able to use and uh, it's just going to make life a little easier for you because it's going to reduce the amount of work that you do because there's something that a lot of people do that is, well, it's actually 100% unnecessary. And a lot of people do it, uh, well, they don't even know why they do it, they just think it's the thing to do. And in actual fact, the opposite used to be the standard at one time, and I'm gonna explain it to you. And it's, uh, well, it's all got to do with, can a horse wear a bridle and a halter at the same time? Let me show you. Now, one of the options that uh, some people would actually like to have, and it's probably a good thing, is when you're out riding and you want to stop and take a break and you want to get off your horse and you want to be able to tie it. Now, I don't know if anybody's ever said it, but tying by the reins with a bit in the horse's mouth is an absolute no-no. If they ever pull a little bit or something like that, they're going to do damage to their teeth. It's going to hurt the horse and then it's going to freak out and, well, geez, all kinds of bad things can happen. So let's start with that one is tying by the reins, absolute no-no. And if you happen to have roping reins like these ones, well, they're just a loop. You can't exactly tie with these things anyhow. So I'm going to show you one of your options that allows you to be able to stop and tie your horse safely anytime you want on the trail or anywhere you happen to be, for that matter. You will notice on this horse right now, hold your head up a little more, dear, for the camera. Thank you. Uh, there is a, a bridle on. This is a little bit different than what some of you may be used to because it's got the, the ear loop and it doesn't have the throat latch and the brow band. A little bit different setup, but it is essentially the same thing. There's a bit on the end there and a chin strap, and you know, I don't have the cheek pieces. And for those of you that are critical, yes, there's a couple of wrinkles. It's actually too tight, but that's okay. We're just It's only in for long enough to do this video, okay? And then it comes out again. But you'll notice, like I said, there's my reins, and that's what you would use if you're riding. Well, you might have split reins or whatever, but you'll also notice the halter's still on. I put the bridle on right over top of the halter, and you can do that too. Now, a lot of people think that's not right because, well, in show circles, it maybe doesn't look that cool having all this junk on the horse's face. Well, there's a lot of other stuff people put on the horse's face. Well, I won't get into that, but... Yeah, okay, it doesn't look great, but you know, there actually was a time this was the standard. Uh, from, I don't know, somewhere in the 1800s all the way to the early 1900s, the cavalry uh, in most countries, they had what was called a cavalry knot. And uh, basically, they would have a rope halter similar to this, and they would have a piece of rope tied directly onto it, so you couldn't even remove it if you wanted to. It was tied on. Well, I suppose you could untie it, but, you know, it didn't have the clip on it. So it was tied on. And then they would take the, the end of it and they'd throw it over the horse's neck a couple of times, and then they had their own fancy knot to tie it so it didn't tighten up and choke the horse. I don't know how they did that. I don't know that one, so I'm not going to try and show it to you. I do know it's actually got its own name. It's called the Cavalry Knot. And if you look it up, I'm, I'm sure you can find it if you really want to know how to do that. But uh, if you happen to rat, ride in a saddle that has a horn on it like I do, uh, there's another option. Is just make a clove hitch, uh, leaving enough slack so that the horse can fully turn its head to the side and it's not going to interfere at all. You just hook it on the horn like that and there you go. And at any given time, if you want to get off and tie your horse, you just grab this thing, take it off the horn, and uh, tie it on to whatever you want to tie it on to, and you're good to go. And you can safely and easily tie your horse anytime you want while you're on the trail or, like I said, wherever you are. Wherever you're riding, if you want to get off your horse for a minute and say, hey, hang on to this for a minute, will you? i got to go to the bathroom. Or you want to tie the horse somewhere. or Whatever you want to do, that option is there for you. And here's the bonus to that one, too, is not only do you have an option, is uh, it's less work because uh, it's really difficult and I've seen people trying to do this many times where they're trying to get the halter off and then put a bridle on while the halter's off and they've got no halter on the horse to hold it in place while they're trying to get a bridle on and if the horse isn't 100% cooperative, 
you got a heck of a chore on your hands. So uh, putting a bridle right over top of the halter, that is the easiest, easiest solution on the planet. And uh, well, if you happen to have a saddle without a horn, there's always other options. And I'll, I'll just run through a few of them, but uh, depending on your rig, you may be limited. You might have to learn how to do that cavalry knot because you might not have any place on your saddle to attach it. But I'm going to show you a couple of other options that are just that, options. Now one of the other options that is really handy, and it, it's a good idea to always have a piece of rope with you. It could be used for many different things anyhow. So it doesn't hurt to carry one with you. Now if you don't want the extra weight hanging from the horse's chin, there's other options. You can just take this thing and just hang it on the horn while you're riding and it'll usually stay there. I've done it before. Another option is if it happens to have the clip on the end, well, there's usually somewhere on the saddle like this little ring right here. You can clip it on there. And well, if that's not an option for you for some reason, well, tie it on with your saddle strings. You know, there's always ways of doing things. And, uh, you know, if you happen to have a saddle that has no saddle strings or no horn or anything else, well, you might have to get a little bit creative and you know, maybe somewhere through the front of the saddle somewhere, put a little loop of something that you can clip onto or whatever. But uh, it does not hurt to keep one of these with you at all times when you're out riding, because you just never know when you're going to need it. it. You know, whether it's on your own horse or for tying up something else, you never know. You might need a piece of rope. So it doesn't hurt to carry one with you. And like I said, if you've got to tie your horse while you're out on the trail somewhere, well, you know, if you ride out several miles and you want to take a break before you turn around and head back, uh, you might want to tie the horse up for a while while you take a break and refresh yourself before you head home. And in which case, well, this is the solution, is by having one of these with you. And like I said, uh, the options are many as to how you can store it and attach it. And uh, just one last thing for you to have to do. Uh, it makes it actually easier to hold the horse's head in place while you're putting a bridle on so you don't have that fuss and you don't have to take it off before you put the bridle on. It's already there, just leave it there. And then you don't have to put it on again later when you take the bridle off. So it just generally, in general, it makes your life a lot easier by doing this. And can it be done? Yes, it absolutely can be done. Does it look a little bit tacky with all this clutter on the horse's face? Well, maybe it does, but you know, uh, function is a little more important than aesthetics in my book and so that's why I'm showing you this stuff because I'm showing you an easier way to do things. I don't care what it looks like but it actually was a very common practice at one time, standard practice. Uh, most countries uh, this is what the military did. The halter stayed on the horse at all times, never came off the horse and they always had the rope with them so that at any given time they could get off somewhere and tie the horse up safely without using the reins. So, and like I said, uh, if you want to go Google it or whatever, uh, cavalry knot because the cavalry used it and they used it on thousands and thousands and thousands of horses. This is not just a, a few people that did something like this. It was the standard at one time. And, well, if the military did it, there must have been a good reason for it. So there you go. Hope we saved you a little bit of work and uh, made life a little better for your horse so that you can safely tie it up without yanking on its face with a bit in its mouth. Uh, use your halter, use your lead, carry it with you at all times. And, uh, you know, it, it's not any extra work to carry it with you. And uh, if you, like I do, if you happen to have a saddle with a horn on it, man, I'll tell you, a uh, couple of loops called a clove hitch. This is how you tie boats up too, you know. And uh, you just throw it up on there. There. Done. That's it. It's that simple. And it's there. The minute you need it, you know, get off the horse and tie it up. Hop off the horse. You can actually undo it before you get off the horse and take it with you so it's in your hand when you get off. Or you can, you know, you can have a horse like this that doesn't tend to run off on you. Uh, you can get off the horse and then undo it. Either way, it doesn't matter. It's there and it's ready to use when you need it. So... There you go, save you a little bit of work and have a good day.